partnered by Times Influence. Home to the Ganga Jamuni Tehzeeb and a robust manufacturing sector, Uttar Pradesh balances tradition and modernity with equal finesse. Endowed with nature's bounty, Uttar Pradesh is a leading manufacturer of wheat, sugarcane and potato, ranking only second in the production of vegetables amongst all Indian states. With over 15 industrial areas, 12 specialized parks and 4 growth centers, Uttar Pradesh is looking to cement its position as an investment destination. And giving it a push in the right direction is the UP Investment Summit. With its inaugural roadshow in Delhi, the summit brings together the best that the state has to offer. It's a great pleasure for me to welcome uh, Sri Satish Mahana, Honorable Minister of Industrial Development, Government of Uttar Pradesh. First of all, I'm really happy that this is the first roadshow that UP is having in Delhi, and uh, that the presence of the Honorable Ministers here says a lot because we all look at UP as a state of great potential. UP is, one of the, is probably the largest state in, in, in India, and, and you have a huge population and a huge potential of industrial development, entrepreneurs, small and medium businesses who create wealth for the country and to sensitize business community across the globe and promising investment opportunities in the state. The government is organizing a sustained investment uh, promotion campaign across India. And uh, this is the first and then it's followed by Bangalore, Hyderabad, Ahmedabad, Mumbai and Kolkata culminating in UP's summit on the 21st and 22nd of February 2018 and I'm sure all of you will find it interesting to come there as well. This summit brings and promises hope, promises delivery, promises action and I'm sure the industry will be as big a part as the government is trying to do. Thank you very much and welcome back. Thank you, Mr. Somani. We will now play a short video on Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh, the heartland of India, is abound in rich natural resources and is garlanded by perennial rivers like the Holy Ganges and Yamuna. Home to multi-hued Indian culture, Uttar Pradesh continues to play a pivotal role in shaping the Indian economy. It is the third largest economy of India, contributing 8.4% to the country's GDP. Also the fourth largest state of India, Uttar Pradesh offers a large consumer base with almost one-sixth of India's population residing here. With abundant land, balanced availability of water and 24-7 reliable electricity for industries, Uttar Pradesh is marching ahead as the most preferred investment destination. Honorable Minister for Infrastructure and Industrial Development, Government of UPC, Satish Mahanaji, Shri Anu Pandeji, IIDC, Government of UP, Mr. Somani, dignitaries on the dais, friends, ladies and gentlemen, friends from media, uh, UP has recently come out with an industrial policy which uh, gives a lot of incentives to the industries and uh, uh, in the last eight months, a lot many steps have been taken to promote industry. So I'll give a brief presentation on what UP has done in the last nine months and what UP presents as, as an investment opportunity to industrialists. UP is the fourth largest state which covers about 7.3% of India's land area. Right now, the total GSDP of UP is about $230 billion, which, is, which translates to about 14 lakh crore rupees. Uh, in terms of population, UP presents the highest consumer base in the country. We are about 220 million people, which is about 16.5% of uh, the India's population. 
very surprising to most of you, UP has the maximum number of PPP projects in, in the entire country. UP is also the top five in terms of manufacturing states in the country. We have the second highest population of MSMEs in the country. So uh, we have al already have a very strong MSME base in the country. We have a traditional uh, leather industry, Agra, Kanpur, these areas are traditionally leather industry uh, manufacturing areas. And uh, recently, UP has also emerged as a preferred destination for electronics industry, electronics and IT industry. Investment opportunities, there are many sectors where investment opportunity, opportunities are there. We have a very fairly robust economic uh, uh, situation in UP, and it's, it has, UP contributes for 8.4 percent to the entire GDP of the country. So it's an economy which is growing, and in the last five months, UP has grown at almost 10 percent. So UP is growing at a faster pace. UP presents a very good uh, groundwork for economic development, and actually it's we can say that it's a land of opportunity. With the new industrial investment and employment promotion policy, the government is changing the very landscape of Uttar Pradesh, turning it into a top investment destination in India by providing the right ecosystem for small and large businesses. UP has been, has a lot of potential and which now I think uh, is been unveiling now. So, and I see a lot of response here, very enthusiastic response. UP has good land amount, good land bank, people can come here and invest. There have been good policies in terms of governance, ease of doing business. There's a lot of policy framework which is there for the industries and they support the industries. The incentive structure that we are offering them is the best among all the states in the country. When we talk about the infrastructure issues, as soon as the government came, within a month, the first thing they did was an MOU with Ministry of Power, 24 by 7 power for all for everybody. 39% households in UP so far have been, have get uh, power connection. Now that is the kind of infrastructure reforms that we are taking. Bundelkhand and Purvanchal, they would be connected to, to metros, throughs. Six, power, six lane roads, expressways. Next month, we are planning to introduce a monitoring system, district-wise, so that we can ensure that they, they are implemented in the field. We are coming out with a lot of things and things which are being done for the first time in India. Textile policy, we are envisaging fixed-term contracts. No, fixed, that has been a big demand of the industry. UP would be the first state to do that. There, there are a number of labor laws in which we have provided for the first time self-certification. Clearances, NOCs within 24 hours. In labor uh, area, I have been Joint Secretary of Labor and Government of India. These things were unheard of. UP has heralded a lot of changes in the statutory uh, um, framework and for ensuring ease of doing this. Mr. Alok Sinha has made a very detailed presentation on the industrial policy of UP and uh, why one should come to UP. I'll talk about why one should come to Greater Noida and invest. Now, I think to what Alok, Mr. Alok Sinha said, I'll just top it by saying that what has changed in UP? UP already had the potential. UP still has the potential. But what has changed to attract you to come and invest in UP is that we have a great leadership now. We have heard of the Elon Musk, the Mark Zuckerberg, and so on and so forth. Now, one CEO can change the face of that company or the corporate entity. So, we have a great leader in the form of our CEO, the Chief Minister of UP, Mr. Yogi Adityanath, who is focused, who is uh, positive, he is honest, and he is very inspiring and caring, and very decisive at the end of the day. So with this kind of leadership and the team that he has put in uh, for industrial development, I think it's the right time and the right kind of atmosphere. So it will be time for all of us to cheer up and come to UP to invest. Now, the beginning with this road show in Delhi, I think we'll culminate with uh, the investor summit on the 21st of February. 
and we are going to get all of you plus many more from all over the country and even abroad. Having said this, now I will just move on to why invest in uh, Greater Noida. Now, Greater Noida is an integrated township which is shaping up as India's smartest city in the national capital region. It is developing fast and it has a very far-sighted town planning. Most of you would have uh, visited Greater Noida. If not, I would welcome you to come to Greater Noida. It is comfortably nestled in the national capital region. I mean, in the national capital region, after Greater Noida, we have Yamuna, and then you go beyond. So I think in the next few years, this is going to get saturated. So it's time for you to come and now invest in uh, Greater Noida. You have the proximity to another four major industrial hubs, that is Noida, Gadiabad, Faridabad, and Meerut. There are a large number of electronics industry already operational, and a lot of skill development activities are also going on in the vicinity of Greater Noida. Then the early bird projects of the DNA, GIR and DMIC is the integrated township, as I said, the multimodal logistic hub and the transport hub. Now the integrated township is ready by March. You will be able to come and set up your unit. It is a walk to work and a plug and play. So the hierarchy of uh, network of roads inside the township is 80 meter, 60 meter, 45 meter, 30 meter, uninterrupted power supply, 24 seven water supply and monitoring through a supervision control and data access system, and you have automated waste collection. So it is a state of art infrastructure coming up in the city. You are most welcome to come and see it yourself. Now all Delhiites are you know, having a lung problem for breathing. So in Greater Noida, I can assure you that you will have a great quality of life and you will breathe fresh air. First of all, there were a lot of participants. There's an enormous interest, I think, in the business community for what is going to happen in, uh, in UP. And all of that is concentrated on the investment uh, summit in February. Now, from uh, our point of view, uh, the Netherlands uh, is already in India the fourth largest source for India of foreign direct investment. So we are already investing in India, also in Uttar Pradesh. But now, with Uttar Pradesh getting new energy, I think uh, this offers enormous opportunities also for our business. Because if you look at India, it's growing with 6 to 7 percent. But if you look at the Indian uh, consumer goods market is growing with 15%. You don't get that anywhere in the world. And you have 220 million people in uh, UP. So it's a huge population with uh, an increasing uh, purchasing power. So they will need all kinds of things in sectors that we are very uh, good in, like agriculture, like uh, environment, like water management, all these kind of things, uh, the technologies that we can bring. Situated right beside the Gomti River, the state capital Lucknow will host the Grand Investor Summit, combining the cultural heritage and the future of Lucknow. The UP Investor Summit will be held on the 21st and 22nd of February, bringing together over 5,000 delegates from various industries. The two-day summit will see the biggest names under one roof, showcasing the investment opportunities thereby unleashing the growth potential of Uttar Pradesh. Historically and geographically, the Uttar Pradesh has been a state of abundance, a region abundant in diversity, population, cultures, natural resources, potential and possibilities. The state is biased to become one of the favorite business designation of our country. I am fortunate to be a part of the future-oriented team of administrators who are felicitating progress, foreign investments, focused development and social infrastructure into the state. The, recent, uh, the recently introduced industrial in investment policies, which has been very briefly uh, conveyed to you by uh, my principal secretary and uh, IDC also, uh, the employment policy of the state government is reflection and roadmap for the historic approach that the administration has adopted towards not only industrial development, but also improving the overall standards of living, creation of jobs, improvement in law and order situations, 
and exploring new avenues with substantial policy framework. As you know, uh, before eight months now, the position as far as law and order was concerned in Uttar Pradesh, for the industries, UP was the last choice uh, to come to the Uttar Pradesh. Now I feel proud to say that, that our honorable chief ministers, as the government has zero tolerance for the crime and the criminal and the, the people, those are protecting the criminals also. We have zero tolerance for those people. So we ensure you that we'll be there to uh, assist you, to help you, to protect you in all the ways, whatever you feel that you want to come up with industrial development in Uttar Pradesh, we will always be a helping hand uh, in Uttar Pradesh for all the industries across the country, those who are coming here. We are clear in this fact that industrialization and the resultant job creation and economic progress is the panacea for future growth. Uttar Pradesh, with its 200 million population, will surely reap the result and demographic dividends. If we really channelize multifaceted talent of our state, you have already listened to my officers about the industrial investment and employment promotion policy 2017. The new refreshable Uttar Pradesh Investment Promotion Board, the land banks that we have acquired and developed, the ease of doing business reforms that has been implemented, these have all been done in close consultations with the industry. Uh, many of the people, those who are here present here, when we started to uh, think of the new industrial policy, we had a detailed discussions with CIA and with any, many other, all other, you can say that, industrial uh, uh, houses, industrial organizations. And that was the day when we had a, a brainstorming session for more than six hours. On one side, the industries were sitting with their problems, and on another side, all the senior officers of the government at the level of the principal secretaries, they were present there, and whatever the grievances they had regarding the industries, that was being answered by our secretaries also, and that has been included in our industrial policy. Before finalizing the industrial policy, it was uh, put uh, into the public domain, and we asked uh, uh, suggestions for that. I don't know if... Uh, many of the people, those who are here or not, but whatever suggestions we could incorporate with that uh, industrial policies, we had done it and it has been appreciated by the people, those who had given those suggestions also. For the first time, Uttar Pradesh Investment Promotion Board has a galaxy of 11 industries on board to help the department with real-time updates on the need of the industry. This will not only keep us abreast of the latest best practices around the world, but will also keep us updated with the domestic competition. Today, on this day, the times of competitive federalism, keeping one step ahead is the need of the hour. So, in a way, our policy and the Investment Promotion Board are for the industry, by the industry, and of the industry. I am sure you will agree that mm, there is already a change in the perception about Uttar Pradesh. The whole country is excited. The government of Uttar Pradesh is committed to meet the expectations of the country. We are confidently marching to attain the vision of our Honorable Prime Minister and our Honorable Chief Minister also, Prime Minister of the Nation, Narendra Modi ji and Chief Minister Sri Yogi Adityanath ji, who had said that Uttar Pradesh has to grow for the India to grow. In a span of few years, we have taken landmark initiatives like the sanctioning of Jaivar airports. And uh, mm -hmm, I would like to inform you that uh, as far as the land acquisition is concerned and other uh, things which have, uh, to, are concerned with the land acquisition, we have just started. And in the last cabinet, three days back, we have san sanctioned a substantial amount to uh, start the work at the Jaivar Airport, Purvanchal Expressway, Bundelkhand Expressway. These initiatives are with DMIC and AKIC will completely revolutionize the economic and industrial scenario of the state. 
we are also coming up with the smart cities along with AKIC corridor, which will be smart mix industry and residential hubs. We are ready to give a red carpet welcome to industries across sectors. Come, let's strive together and grow together. Truly, UP stands for ease of business. And the government in, is ensuring that at every step, a business finds a reason and medium to grow, compete and flourish. When you do business in UP, you will find U stands for upgrade and P for progress. We, as a government, strive to deliver both. But let me stress here, it's not all business. I would like to conclude by welcoming you all to explore the diversity of state has to offer. Besides being famous from Kumamela, the Varanasi Ghats, and most definitely the Taj Mahal, Uttar Pradesh boasts on one of the oldest culture and is home of historical cities like Varanasi, Koshambi, Shavasti, Kushinagar, Agra, Lakhnu, etc. I am very grateful to you all present here. I can assure you, whatever brings you to my home state, the culture, the business, the people, you will always find inspiration and means to grow and thrive with Uttar Pradesh. Thank you very much. Showing its prowess in multiple industries, including pharmaceutical and chemicals, defense manufacturing, renewable energy, food processing, and many more, the UP Investor Summit, flagged off at New Delhi, will travel to Bengaluru, Hyderabad, Ahmedabad, Mumbai and Kolkata with the promise of making Uttar Pradesh a world-class investment destination. Key initiatives what this government has taken in terms of say e-governance or land availability or you know everything getting online, this will automatically invest, uh, attract a lot of investment. Not only this, I think proximity to capital of India which is New Delhi of course and the new airport coming in. Uh, that's going to change the entire landmark of uh, UP shortly. And again, the investments what we are seeing around infrastructure in UP over the last few years, and the plans what government shared with us over the last couple of hours, uh, that's, that's going to be a big game changer for the state. UP being one of the largest states in our country with the population uh, which is also growing and big cities which are there and in a developmental mode in the current scenario with a lot of focus coming on to other parts of UP which were earlier not, like say for example Varanasi and other places where a lot of focus on government is there. Uh, for us as a cement company, we like to see what is the captive kind of and consumption which is going to come out. And we feel that UP has got a huge potential for the cement industry per se. If I talk specifically to my industry, there is a large captive uh, market available and a lot needs to be done which is already in progress to be done in terms of housing, in terms of roads, in terms of infrastructure and we are already supplying a lot of cement to some of the big infrastructure projects in UP. We had a unit in 2000. In that time, there were some benefits in UP in Celtex. And because UP was our market main, that's why the benefits were more lucrative. So we had a unit in that time. In today's situation, we have seen the UP. So the UP has changed the government. They have made a new policy. They have made investment policies. They have made some incentives for the industry. They have made some incentives. तो उस एंगल से हम देखते हैं क्योंकि यहाँ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर भी है, रॉ मटेरियल भी है, मैनपावर भी अवेलेबल है यहाँ पे। क्योंकि मैं समझता हूँ ग्रेटर नोएडा जो एक जिस तरह से प्रेजेंट किया गया ग्रेटर नोएडा को, बहुत ही इंडस्ट्रियल फेवर के हिसाब से उस सिटी को डेवलप किया गया। तो उस एंगल से मैं investments and towards investors, particularly changes in the labor laws and also changes in how they deal with the investors in terms of briefing them about the policies and bringing everything online. Partnered by Times Influence.